Electrical contractors have used aluminum wiring for many years in residential construction. In at least some capacity, it is used in more than 90% of new homes being built today. Properly installed, it is just as safe as copper wiring, which was more commonly used prior to the 1960s when the price of copper escalated. Throughout the late 1960s and 1970s, there were several cases where electrical fires occurred in houses built with aluminum wiring. In some homes, the outlets and switches would get hot when in use, sometimes causing shocks or actually starting a fire. What contractors did not understand at the time is that the characteristics of aluminum wiring are very different from that of copper and that there were specific installation standards that had to be followed when using it. The research that followed the investigation of these fires were able to prove that it was not the wiring that was the source of the fires, but rather the workmanship of how the wiring was installed. Aluminum wiring is soft. It has a low melting temperature. It expands when heated and oxidizes easily. Knowing this, aluminum requires that any connection to it be made in such a way that the wiring will not be able to loosen. This is usually done with a special crimping tool and special connectors. Unlike copper wire, which is a little more stable and flexible than aluminum and does not require special connectors. Copper and aluminum wire can never be twisted together. Aluminum wire tends to oxidize over time. The oxide layer does not conduct electricity. This results in a poor connection with the wiring device terminal screws, particularly if they are steel. The connections gradually heat up. For this reason, all current standard wiring devices contain the warning for use with copper or copper clad wire only and clearly indicates do not use with aluminum wire. The only exception to this is the CO ALR wiring devices for use with aluminum wire. In CO ALR devices, the terminal screws are pleated with the element indium. Indium is an extremely soft metal that forms a gas seal connection with the aluminum wire. This eliminates problems caused by oxidation. As a licensed home inspector and a licensed general contractor, when I find single strand aluminum wire in a house, I make the following statement. Single strand aluminum wire is present in the 120 volt branch circuits in this house. This single strand branch circuit aluminum wire was used widely during the 1960s and the 1970s. According to reports published by the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission, problems due to overheating at the connections between the wire and the devices such as switches, outlets, and light fixtures may have been responsible for house fires. It is recommended that the circuits using the single strand aluminum wire be evaluated and modified as may be deemed necessary by a licensed electrical contractor who is familiar with the problems inherent with this type of wiring. Thank you so much for listening. I'm Chad Collins. You may learn more about our company at collinsdesignbuild.com.